Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Eleni. I'm a second year dental student and I go to Tufts University. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. I do weekly vlogs of my life in dental school so you guys can see what it's like to be a dental student. So, very exciting this week guys. I'm doing my first exam on a patient. Well, it's my classmate, my friend Ali, but I'm still just so excited to finally be the provider. I'm not going to be assisting. I'm going to be doing all of the work for the exam. I'm doing a 120 and it's basically when the patient comes in for a second time and you're just kind of doing a regular checkup with them, checking all their teeth and taking x-rays if they need it, impressions, all that stuff. So I'm going to be doing all of that on my friend Allie and this is the first time that I'm gonna be doing all of that by myself on a real patient, so I am so excited. That's gonna to be tomorrow. So today I think I'm going to actually try and assist a 120, so I can kind of just go through it with another student, see how they do it, what steps they take, just to review and refresh everything for a 120 before I do it tomorrow. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be just reviewing everything and making sure that I have everything ready for my exam tomorrow. It's at 9 a.m. so I'm going to be waking up early, going to school early, making sure everything is ready before 9 so that I'm ready for my patient and I can get as much done as I can in the one appointment. And we're getting three appointments to get all the work done but hopefully I can get it done sooner and then after I finish with my exam, I will be Allie's patient and she'll be the provider doing the 120 exam on me. So I'm really excited. This is our first steps getting into the clinic and starting in July, we'll be seeing our own patients. So it's just all really exciting and yeah. So this morning I woke up early around seven and I went for a run this morning. It's beautiful outside so it was really nice to get outside and go for a run. But I'm going to be leaving my house now. I have fixed pros at one and I need to finish my bridge. I had an open margin on it from last class so I have to fix that and then I'm going to get it checked off. Um, and then after fixed pros I'll probably trying to try to assist a 120 just so I can review everything like I said for tomorrow and then I also have to stay late in the pre-clinic because I have my last endo project due on Thursday so I need to work on that so I think I'm going to be staying late in the pre-clinic tonight so it's going to be a busy busy day but it's a new week and I'm excited for what's going to be coming up in this week and yeah, thank you guys for joining me. Make sure to subscribe down below if you guys aren't already subscribed. And I already, I just worked on my passion planner. You guys know if you've been watching my videos, every week on Mondays, I start off my week by writing all of my classes in my passion planner. So I know exactly what's going on for the week, classes, projects that are due, all that stuff. So. Now that that's done, I'm going to head out and I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, what's up? It's Tuesday now, it's around six. I'm going to get some sweet green and then I'm heading to school for extra practice in the preclinic. I have to finish out my endo project because that's due on Thursday. But today was so exciting. To today I was a provider. We did our ICP capstone project. We started that today. So basically I was the provider and then my patient was my friend Allie and I was doing a 120 exam on her. And so basically a 120 is a recare exam. So Allie has already been a patient at the school and so I just had to fill in her medical history. I took radiographs for her, I took four bite wings, and then I also did her probing depths. And tomorrow, I have it again at one, and I will get a perio consult, talk about her probing depths, then I have to fill out her odontogram and another few forms then i'll present to my pc i also have to do an alginate on her get her impressions 
and then I also and probably the appointment after tomorrow the one I think I have on Friday I'll finally get to the profi and clean her teeth but today was just so exciting and I'm so happy to be in the clinic and it's really nice that we get to do this on each other first and my patient is also my friend so it was really nice being able to practice on her and get used to the clinic um, with a friend and kind of like in a more relaxed environment so today was just so exciting and I'm just so happy to be there so yeah so now I'm gonna go and have dinner I got sweet green and tomorrow I have another ICP session at 1 so I'll continue with the 120 exam tomorrow and yeah so today was just so exciting and I will talk to you guys later Hey guys, it's Tuesday night. It's around 10.30. I got home not too long ago. I was in clinic until 9 working on my endo project and I'm so happy because it ended up turning out pretty good and didn't have too many complications. So that's always good because endo is so hard sometimes and can be so complicated. So I was just so happy that it came out with no major errors. I did have some voids and the canals weren't perfectly straight and there was like some divots and stuff on it, but nothing too crazy or bad. So I was really happy that it came out the way it did. So I was really excited about that. And today was such a great day. We had our first day in clinic, like I told you guys earlier, but it was just so much fun and I loved it so much. It was really great being the provider and actually doing like real dentistry for the first time and it was just so much fun. I loved it. So I took x-rays, did the probing, and then tomorrow I'll present to Perio and my PC, do an impression, and then the third appointment I'll probably finally do the profi. So appointments in dental school take a long time you have to wait to get swipes and everything needs to be checked off before you can do anything so that's something that i didn't know before dental school how long the appointments were and how long just one thing can be so it's definitely a long process but i am just so excited for all of it and yeah so it was a really exciting day a really good day and I'm just so happy with starting in the clinic and how my endo project turned out. So yeah, I think I'm going to head to bed soon because it's already 10.30 and I'm really tired, but I think I'm going to fold some laundry first and then wind down for the night and head to bed. Tomorrow I'm in the clinic again at one. So I think tomorrow morning I'll just take it easy, go for a run and then head into the clinic just so I can have the morning to myself, get a run in. And then I think I'll come back home after that because I don't have class afterwards. But yeah, today was such a good day. I'm just so happy with how it went and it feels like everything's coming together and all of the studying I've done for the past two years and everything that I've been doing, assisting and all that stuff has finally like paid off and I'm just so happy and yeah <laughs> so I will talk to you guys tomorrow Hey guys, it's Wednesday now. I'm headed into school soon because I have my second ICP session as the provider. So today I'm going to do a perio consult and then present to my PC and probably do an alginate impression. So I'm really excited for today, but I'm going to head into school so I can get there early, set up the operatory and be all ready and set for the appointment. 
and before I'm going to go to Mary Lou's get myself a little coffee so I'm gonna head out now but this morning I woke up early went for a run and it was really nice to get that in the morning before I head into school and it's been absolutely beautiful outside in Boston so it was just really nice to get outside and go for my run in the morning but yeah so now I'm going to head to Mary Lou's and go to school and I will talk to you guys later hey guys it's wednesday night now it's around nine o'clock i got home around six today which was nice getting home a little bit earlier than yesterday yesterday i got home at like 9 30 after being in the preclinic from seven to nine so it's been nice being able to just chill for a little bit and i can't decide if i want to work on studying endo or work on my dentures right now i can't decide what i want to do I might work on my dentures a little bit just because I kind of want to just like play around with it and stuff. So maybe I'll do that for a little bit and then I'll probably go to bed soon because I have endo tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. It's our last class and I'm handing in my molar project tomorrow. So it'll be nice to be done and completed with that class. We still have a practical next week, I think. Um, and they're going to tell us tomorrow, like what's going to be on the practical and stuff like that. So yeah, it should be okay. We'll see how it goes, but yeah, I think right now I'll try and work on my dentures a little bit and then head to bed. So yeah, today was such an exciting day. Again, we were in the clinic and I was the provider today. I did, I got a perio consult and then I presented to my PC and then I also did an alginate impression and then I had to pour that up and then tomorrow I'll have to mount it onto my articulator so then Friday I can do a face bow and get that checked off and then do the profi on Friday and then I'll be done with my ICP like capstone project when I do for the exam on my classmate and then we'll switch to my friend Allie and she'll be the provider next and then I'll be her patient so we're kind of just like rotating who's the provider and who's the patient so everyone can get a chance at doing a 120 and this is for practice for when we finally get to see our own patients and we're going to start seeing our own patients in July which is really exciting I'm really excited for that but it's a lot of things to remember, a lot of things to do. So it's always good to review all of the steps beforehand, have things written down. So it's been nice going through all of it, figuring things out, how Axiom works, what steps you have to do, what you have to get checked off, all the notes you have to write, consents you have to get. So it's a lot of stuff that you have to do in the clinic, but it's really nice that we have this opportunity to like practice it before we see real patients. So I think I'm going to work on my dentures for a little bit and then head to bed and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. It's Thursday night now. It's around 9 o'clock and I got home about half hour ago. I was in school until around 7. It's been such a long day. I got to school around 8 for endo. I had endo this morning and I handed in my last molar project for endo and I'm really excited to be done with all of my endo projects. And so today I handed in the molar project and then we also started practicing for our practical which is next week and for the practical it's basically going to be based off the cdca exam which is one of the board exams that you have to take um, in dental school and so for 
the practical and I guess for the exam as well, we're going to be accessing, instrumenting, and operating number eight. And then we're also going to be accessing number 14 and basically just doing like a pulpotomy, cleaning out the um, pulp chamber. And that will be for the practical. And so we just practiced that today and the practical is gonna be next week. So basically we're almost done with endo, which I'm really excited about. I'm glad to be almost done with that class. We also still have a final for that and that will be in a few weeks. So it's really exciting to be done with that class. It was pretty good class. Um, it was definitely one of the trickier labs, especially because of the obturation part. Filling the canals is just so difficult sometimes and you have to be very careful about what you're doing with the instrumenting and obturation. So it can be very nitpicky sometimes and kind of tricky. So some of that was frustrating, but overall I really liked endo and I thought it was a really good class. So after endo today, I also had fixed pros and I kept working on my bridge and it's just been taking me forever to do this bridge. Um, but yeah, I think bridges are just in general really hard to do. So yeah, it's been just taking me forever to do it, but I think I need to find time like outside of class to work on it. And then after fixed pros, I stayed and worked in the lab a little bit longer because I wanted to mount my cast for ICP tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm going to do a face bow and you have to have the impressions um, poured up and mounted onto a cat onto an articulator. So I wanted to start that so I was able to put on the maxillary cast onto the articulator and I'll put on the mandible tomorrow before the appointment. So like tomorrow I have my last ICP appointment as a provider and I'll basically be doing the profi and I'll do the face bow which is why I needed the cast mounted onto the articulator and then I'm done with my 120 exam and being the provider so then after the morning appointment and I finish up my 120 exam I'm actually going to be the patient in the afternoon and my friend Allie who is my patient will then be my provider and she's going to do the whole thing on me so she'll do the 120 exam so she'll like get my med, med history, she'll do probing depths on me, she'll take x-rays if she needs it, um, impressions, and she'll have to do like the articulator again for, for my teeth. So I've been really excited about being in the clinic and it's just been so much fun and I've been really loving it. So I'm just really happy about that. And yeah, it's definitely like very crazy and a lot of things to remember, especially with Axiom, our online health record. There's so many things that you have to fill out, make sure that you're filling it out correctly, and then you have to get things swiped and you have to write notes. And it's just like a lot of stuff to remember, so it can be a little bit overwhelming, but I feel like once we get the flow of things, it'll come a little bit easier. But yeah, it's already nine and I'm pretty tired, but I think I'm going to pack because I'm headed to Maine this weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend, so we get Monday off. So I'm really excited to head to Maine, get away for a little bit. So I'm going to pack, but first I wanted to open a package that I got today for you guys. It's T-I-J-N, like eyewear. And so I got two pairs of glasses that I'm really excited about. I got one pair of blue light glasses. I already have one that I got from Amazon, but I wanted to get another pair. So these are the glasses that I got and they have a blue light filter, which I love to wear when I'm on my computer all day studying. I do feel like if I don't wear these, I do get like a headache. So I got these that have like a tortoise kind of rim to them. So they're really cute. I really like these ones. And these are the blue light filter, which I'll use all the time because I'm always staring at my computer when I'm studying and stuff like that. So these are gonna be really nice for studying to prevent like headaches, eye strain, all of that. So I'm really excited about these. I just love how they look. They're really cute. I really love this style. And then I also got a pair of sunglasses, which came just in time for my trip to Maine. And so I got these. I feel like they're kind of like the style right now with the um, squared off edges rather than like around. And I really like these. I'm excited to wear these this weekend. And I think they're polarized too. 
but yeah i love these i'm really excited to try them out this weekend but yeah so this is t-i-j-n eyewear and i'll link everything down below so you guys can check them out and see if you guys want to get a pair for yourself but yeah i just wanted to show you guys that quickly i'm actually going to put the blue light ones back on because i have to do some stuff on my computer and they're just so cute but um yeah so i have to my computer's actually not really working right now um i don't know what's wrong so i'm gonna try and figure out what's wrong with my computer um maybe edit a little bit i want to get a vlog up tomorrow for you guys before the weekend and then i'm gonna pack and probably go to bed early because i have to be in school again tomorrow because i have my last icp session as a provider which is really exciting um, and then I'm going to be the patient and then after school, I'm going to head to Maine. So tomorrow is going to be a busy, busy day, but yeah, I'm going to try and figure out what's wrong with my computer and I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys. So I'm editing this vlog and I realized that I never ended it off. So I'm here to end off this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video make sure to subscribe down below if you guys aren't already subscribed and you guys can follow me on instagram i'm always posting on there about school and projects and all that stuff so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye